Learn to make the perfect picnic platter for game day or Galentine's. One local mama has you covered. Heather Lake is chatting with her this morning in Fallbrook. Heather, good morning. Hey, good morning. Yeah, so many people might show up um, on Super Bowl Sunday and they've got like their bag of chips and the salsa and they just throw it down and it's easy. But what if you miss hosting and you want to make something beautiful to be around the couch or maybe the counter? Um, by the way, we're at Space 110. This place is beautiful in Fallbrook right off the main drag. We'll talk a little bit more about that. But first, I want to talk about all of this. It's like making picnics have become the biggest thing, right, in the past yeah. year. Patrice, you know because you're that cheesy mama on Instagram and you basically have become pretty popular popular mainly because these boards are beautiful and you're teaching other people how to do it. People can spend hundreds of dollars hiring someone um, and you're like, you know what I'm going to do? We're going to do this virtual class and we're going to teach people how to do this at home because it can be simple. You just have to realize how to not make it all fall off the board and make it pretty. So tell me first what you did with the Super Bowl one because this one's like definitely more for the dudes um, and has some, some smoky cheeses and pretzels. Yes. So, okay, we just want to show you can still make something for the guys and it can still be something that looks nice because you know the guys are going to show up with just chips. Um, so what I did, I always start a board out with a circular centerpiece. It just works really well for me. But for the guys, I like to do like a little bit more of the smoky cheeses, the smoky meats. We have a bacon and cheddar and kind of combined it with some of those you know, the, that you're going to find at the game, some of those snacks. So we have some pretzels here. We're going to do some beer cheese. We have some buffalo chicken dip, which is great because they can dip it with veggies. So they're getting a little bit of healthy stuff yeah. in there. And this is all Trader Joe's. So yeah. it's like, I want to talk about that, the yes. menu, because you said this is a simple thing. You grab your cart and your hand sanitizer and your mask. I don't need to keep telling you that. And basically you go into Trader Joe's, you do your grocery shop in one place. Cause I'm thinking, gosh, where do you find all these cheeses and these meats? And you said every single thing, everything that you have gotten here is all from Trader Joe's. Super simple. Um, where do you always start so that it's not like the Leaning Tower of Pisa and all of our nuts are falling off the side and the cookies are hanging off? Like, how do you do it? What's the what's the starting point? Okay, so I always start in the center. So you okay. would grab basically. I think we have a brie over there for you, and I would put that in the middle. I'm getting. I want to do the uh, Valentine's one, so I'm kind of getting like a little. Um, heart here. It's super cute. And that's what you've done over there. This might take me a second, by the way, and I have only one hand, so it's not going to be as pretty as yours, but it's all good. Everyone at home's like, Heather, you need a little bit more practice. <laughs> I am not one of those Pinterest moms, if you can't tell. I'm like the Pinterest fail moms. Okay, cool. So this heart looks like the one in the middle of yours over there. Yes, that's, that's exactly beautiful. what I did there. Okay. And then you just push it through. Okay. And then I like to do berries around it. And I think most people think like they're going to put the blueberries and the blackberries and then the strawberries. But when you layer them, it just, it's so pretty. It gives it such a pretty dimension and it's so easy. Yeah. I love all the different stuff. So when you go, do you're like, okay, you need cheese, obviously, yeah. you need meats, obviously, and then what else? Do you do a cracker and a fruit? How do you, how do you figure out what you're going to put around it? Okay, so yes, always, I always on a board at least try to have three different cheeses and three different meats. Okay. What's really great about Trader Joe's is they have a trio, a variety pack of meats that you just have to grab one pack and go. Um, crackers, always something sweet, and then something salty. So they have a variety of different nuts there. I do the candied and the spiced ones. And then I always like to do a little bit of veggies. You're making everyone hungry at home right now. They're like, <laughs> I have not had breakfast yet. I had coffee and I'm like, I'm about to just take one of these bites of these cookies. Another trick, by the way, can you share like one or two of the tricks? Because this is it, right? You do like the, the double fold. Yes, okay. double fold. So double fold. go ahead and fold that into four one. and then Okay, so and then you here. just stack them all together. Okay, I'm doing it. And the opposite like way. <laughs> okay, I'm probably doing it wrong. It's okay, but you're making things more beautiful than I ever will. And you'll do it around the cheese. So that's okay. kind of your base that you're going to lean it around. Okay. And the same thing with the salami. Don't make fun of me at home. People <laughs> like she has no idea what she's doing. It'll be beautiful, I promise. My whole thing is at the end, that's when I kind of like, you can throw the, the, you know, any peanuts or almonds or whatever that you have around the side. Okay, so you're gonna be teaching this. You're gonna be in this space. You're gonna do virtual classes for mamas who are like, you know what, this has been really fun. I do have, you know, someone's beach picnic or something that we're going to and we wanna make it look special. 
When are you doing this? So next Saturday, day before Valentine's Day, so whether it's a Galentine's or it's something your significant other, you want to make them a nice board. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna be doing a virtual class, and if you can't make it live, that's okay. I'm gonna be providing a grocery list five days out Fine. And then they're going to get the recording so they can do it with me live and I'm cool. going to literally talk them through, answer questions, or they can catch the pre-recording and have that to reference back to too. I love that. Okay, yeah. I'm putting that link up on fox5sandiego.com. Patrice is known as that cheesy mom. Do you actually like cheese? I just... uh, I'm actually lactose intolerant. <laughs> that's, the, that's the best part. That is the best part of this whole thing is that you're like, I love this, but you can have some goat cheeses. I can do goat cheese. <laughs> yes. I mean, I love cheese. Don't get me wrong. It just doesn't But if you ate well. it all, it wouldn't be on the plate. <laughs> exactly. So it works <laughs> well. Here's the deal. No, I love that about you. But I also love doing this because we used to have these Fox 5 potlucks. And you guys remember back in the studio and our biggest thing is you have to sign up for something besides chips. Everyone would just bring a bag of chips. The guys would just bring a bag of chips and like throw well, it on the table. Kind of and Charlie like and I are like, here. no, you need to make yeah. a home cooked side dish. Home -cooked. <laughs> you gotta make Remember potlucks? Yeah, you gotta remember yeah, those? I remember potlucks. We will get there. I see the light. The light is shining brighter than ever. We shall return to those potlucks <laughs> one day, I hope very soon. Ooh, can yes. I show you one thing before please, I go? Please. Really quick, because I did, I, I know like earlier today I showed you the space in Fallbrook. It's called Space 110, but I found a like, so look, here's. When you want to and when you're available, this is like you could do a rehearsal dinner here because people are doing much smaller weddings and things like that. And then look at this. This is like the room where you get ready. Hold on. What? Oh, wait, that looks like a shelf. I it's know. A door. Oh, and then you get. Oh, cool. Oh, it's a secret room. Yeah, I know. Yeah. In your little powder room. I love this. How fun. It's so I'm pretty. like, I want to host something here at some point. Girls' Day, Heather. Let's plan a party for 2023. Twist my arm. <laughs> Twist. Book it. Thank you, Heather.